Hello, our monsters are bound here while Xinjiang stands as a giant over the last settlement of the Bandit King. We asked the question, where do frogs come from? Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, part 23 of my Martung campaign, where now I'm, I'm right. So this is very exciting. I got very excited about this and I can't remember whose name it was. I did check and I had it up, but it's behind my recording software. If not a click off, then the sound will dip. So anyway, uh, so whoever, whoever it was, thank you very much. You've pointed out that actually, if you if you click on an item and go over to the parts of the set, it'll actually show you what's in the rest of the set. So if we had the dignified raiment, and we do, then I could effectively make this set, which is really cool. Um, the other thing is, although obviously that set is just plus satisfaction, so we don't really need that, so I won't worry too much about that. But what I did note was that uh, Mei Ho over here, if we get, we have a look at the robe of the Omen Maker. So he's got two different ones. So you've got um, Celestial Fury, so that's the Imperial Bow, which we don't have, but we have the Tactician's Design, which would increase melee evasion for the entire fucking army, which is amazing. And we do actually have a Heavenly Sword, so we can do that. And uh, we then have the Tactician's Design. So everyone in this army now has 10 additional um, melee evasion, which is is bloody amazing, really. I mean, that's just that's just ace. Fantastic stuff. And also, if we go down here and uh, Zheng Teng here. So Zheng Teng has the Champion's Leather, which is part of the set of the Lord of Fire. Now, we, an Heirloom Spear, which we do have, that increases melee armor piercing damage by 20%, which is great. Now, the person who has the Heirloom Spear is Pang De. The problem is Pang De can't equip the Champion's Leather because it's for Vanguards only. So what we need to do is we need to remove him, the, drop the spear there, and we need to give the spear to him, which we can't do just yet. What we can do is we can remove that spear and then swap them round. So we've got the Heirloom Spear there. We can't do it quite yet. We can do it next turn. Then he'll get 20% armor piercing damage across the entire army, which is pretty good. Um, I was looking at some other potential ones, but I can't see anything particular that we could do. Um, that's administered commandery. Eh, it's not, not so good. And actually, this, this kind of feeds into something else, which is a lot of people going, oh, but you can't believe this character has got a default portrait. And I'm like, well, actually... The problem with having all these characters is, and I, I feel like CA have kind of backed themselves into a corner here, is that they, they have this sort of unique armor. So if we have a look at, say, Zhang Liao. Now, Zhang Liao has Zhang Liao's armor. Fair enough. That's what gives him this unique look. The problem is that obviously this armor is locked to him. You can't even take it off. So a lot of the armor sets... I guess maybe they don't... Well, yeah, okay, you've got Lord of Fire there. We've got the, the Raiment of Nobility. So a lot of these sets actually you can't equip... And it's kind of like a bit of equipment they just can never put on. Because it... it so... I don't know how I feel about this. I think maybe it would be better if they wore default armor and just their look never changed. Their armor just never changed the style. And they always just had a unique look. Um, rather than have an actual unique piece of armor and maybe the armor stats got like moved into their their ge general sort of trait something like that because at the moment it feels like they, all these special characters just have this this piece of equipment that can just never change but that's that's by the by it's a little bit of feedback there i think i might put that to them uh that's just my thoughts anyway what are your thoughts let me know i may well read them Right, now, what were we doing? So, Ma Chao is laying siege to An Pig over here. I'm kind of hoping they launch an attack on us. And Jing Zhang is doing the same over at Yamen. That's fine. And we've also got new kid on the block, um, Huan Lin, who is a farmer, but has risen the ranks to now be a general, uh, leading a couple of guys. They're going to go south and deal with Liu Bei. We're also dealing with Liu Bei's city down here. And Cheng 007, I think, yeah, we were, we were moving him north, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good. Good. And poor old Martung, who is now 72. Jeez, look at that. He's, he's old, isn't he? He's getting on. He's getting on, and he might not be much... I mean, I'm, I'm worried, actually. We could lose him at any time, and that's going to make our income dip more than the corruption that is currently kicking my ass, which I'm trying to do stuff about, I promise. I am trying to deal with the corruption. Oh, I, I should have thought of it to start off with. 
problem is it's something that doesn't hit you until later on. So if you prep for it... Uh, oh, hello. What you got? What you got? Is this it? Is this it? Oh, Jang Yan. Oh, Jang Yan. Oh, oh, mind you, my... Well... Ding Zhang's okay. Zhang Liao's a little bit wounded. But I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. And uh, this, I'm going to be honest, I'm not overly concerned about any of this. It's Zheng vs Zhang, but not for long, because uh, he's only got 235 health, and uh, she can kill him in one hit, so uh, she's going to chase after him, he's running away. Is he going to guess away? Mostly because the stupid par thing with horses, yes, until she manages to get around him. This is for escaping last time, you asshole. And he's dead. Well, that went well for him. So Jing Chang is going to get out of there because reinforcements are en route. They've got a lot of archers. So she's going to retreat back to our own lines. And there we are, Zhang Liao and Mei Ho waiting. We've got the artillery, we've got the archers, and we've got a nice line of spears there with some of our swordsmen hidden in the forest, along with some of our cavalry as well. Plan is, if we can engage their front line, then the horses can get around and deal with those nasty archers. Right, there's a small town here. Anyone living in the small town? They all, they've all gone on holiday? I think they've they're probably, probably indoors. What a lovely umbrella. That's nice, isn't it? A bit of shade. Mm. And uh, a box of white powder. Now, I'm not drawing conclusions, but... Well, maybe I will. Okay, so the enemy army is approaching. They're being led by uh, Luru now because their boss is dead. Very dead. That's it. Travel in nice clustered packs. That'll just be perfect for the uh, trebuchets. So now advancing into range. They've got a few generals, actually. Xu Shang there. Tu Bai tu, tu Ying. Tu Bai Ying. Well, the Trebuchets are now in range, so uh, fire, boys. Oof. Rebel in your destruction. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Did you not just see her cut down your boss like he was nothing? I, I don't really think you should antagonise her. I think that's a grave mistake. So they've got three generals. Now, we've only really got two, because Jin Zhang... And Zhang Liao. Now, Zhang Liao is actually quite wounded. He's uh, he's only got about half health. So we need to be a little bit careful. Triple J is doing horrendous damage there. Look at that. Some lovely kills there. Already big piles of dead bodies. Apparently, the enemy generals are stopping off at the village with the large box of white powder. Now, I, again, I'm not drawing conclusions there. But uh, I think they're all drug dealers. It's already 101 and 202 kills. So already one of the trebuchets doing double as better as the other one. That is good English. Double as better. Mm -mm -mm. Double as good? Double plus good? Something like that. So the general's all flanking around on the left. But that's no problem. We can duel them. And uh, Jing Zhang can murder the fucking lot of them. As is tradition. The archers are now in range. We're going to use our trebuchets to take them on. And in the forest, we've got our swordsmen engaging the spear guards. We're going to flank around, and our horses are going to sneak around. There we go, just, just giving these spears a wide berth. And we've got some duels going on. Zhang Liao and Jing Zhang engaging the enemy generals. Oh, Jing Zhang takes a, takes a tumble there, but I don't think she's she's down. She may be, well, she may be down, but she's not out. Now, Zhang Liao I'm a little bit concerned about, but I think he'll be fine. Zhang Zhang, on the other hand, this, I mean, it's not even going to be a con. Well, she just got kicked in the face. Don't piss her off. See? You don't, don't piss her off. She just murders people. 
and our horses now out on the in the open. I should really get some more cavalry in this army and replace these raiders, well, mounted lancer militia, with some more marauders. But we're just going to run down these archers. They're in a nice big packed group there. Oh, absolutely brutal. Uh, Jing Zhang is just about to murder her. F down he goes. Who's next? Some enemy cavalry tried to flank around us, but they ran straight into our G militia. And the enemy archers, of which there are quite a few, are being run down by our cavalry. So far, so good. Archers dealing with uh, some of the closer units of archers. And our infantry is all locked in, locked down. In the forests, things are looking a little bit dicey. There's a big blob of enemy infantry here. So we decide to turn our trebuchets on it. Unfortunately, our trebuchets seem to be able to do more damage to our own infantry than the enemy. So uh, good work the there. And Jing Zhang is taking on someone else because she's a little bit bored. She hasn't killed anyone in about 30 seconds. So uh, in she goes. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Found her. Yeah, fighting uh, Tobai Ying. Again, don't think this is going to be particularly tricky for her to deal with. Yeah, alre already she's just taking chunks out of him. I mean, Zhang Liao is still fighting. And Zheng Zhang has had time to kill two enemy generals and a whole bunch of other enemy troops. I mean, she's got fifth, uh, 31 kills. Yep, down, down goes that one. Now Zhang Liao is looking a little bit close. I mean, he's, he's kept him busy. But it's, it's looking very, very close. A little bit too close. Come on, Zhang Liao, you've got this. I believe in you. Oh, okay, good. Good, he's down. Phew. He still have five and a half K health left as well. So... All the enemy generals are down. Our cavalry are free to run around and just charge into the rear of all of this infantry. Enemy units fleeing all over the place in the forests. Our trebuchets, as I say, have been doing quite a lot of damage to our own units. Um, but fortunately, reinforcements have arrived. They're going to chase off this enemy infantry and our cavalry is going to chase down as much as possible because... Uh, the more we kill now, the less we'll have to deal with later. Well, that worked out pretty well. They have paid for ignoring us. They really have. They lost. Whoa, Jesus! They lost a lot of people. Wow, we captured quite a few people. Including Zhang Yan. Look at that. What's he got? He's got dual axes. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, you've got a clay axe. You are... You're maimed. Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't... Right. Let's, let's go from the start. You've got a clay cup. You're incompetent, temperamental, and intrepid. Um, I think I'll release you. You, I can't... Yeah, yeah you, you're, you are the leader. Um, fraternal, energetic, humble, cheerful greedy, stubborn, careless. And you have dual war axes. Execute. Obviously. You're handsome, direct, aesthetic, but you're maimed. I think I'm just going to release you. Prisoners need food. And we'll take the replenishments. So we've got some nice war axes. That's nice. I wonder who we can give those to. Exciting. Uh, so, Zhang Yan has been replaced. Understandably, Ma Ying is now energetic. Really? Ma Ying. Oh, right, you're... Right, you are... Who are you? Ma Ying. Right, you're not... Right, you are that one. Okay, well, I don't really care. You're, you're just, you just go on assignments, don't you? So, no problem there. Relationship lost, apparently. Oh, I meant to check... Right, uh, I meant to check. What do we get? Dual war axes. Nice. Du who can have dual war axes? Can we give it to Pooh? We could give it to Pooh. 
So that's 1k arm piercing. That's 2 point... Right, well, they're just inherently a lot fucking better, aren't they? So let's give a dual war axes. That sounds pretty good to me. Happy with that. Happy with that. And... Can we just take the... The settlement now? Yes, we can. I'll have that. Thank you very much. We have made ourselves heard. It's mine now. Occupy. A, shame not to take a terrible collapse during construction efforts in the new town. A section of bamboo scaffolding collapses in a horrific accident that crushes many of your men, leaving some dead and many injured. Apart from the lost manpower, the remaining workers are now demoralized, drastically lowering the colonization process. So we can suspend construction. Okay. We can pay for the doctors. I mean, we do have 36,000, so I think we'll, we'll pay for doctors. And Mayho is going to be a noble individual. There we go. And, uh, yeah, they're dead. I refuse. They I are answer, my Lord. very, very dead. Can we... Yeah. Right, okay, so now we've just got this little faction here to deal with. So I want to deal with them. I also want to deal with Han Fu, who's down here. Now, Ma Chao has been laying siege, and he didn't come out to play, did he? So I think we're just going to wait for one more turn to get the sapping done, and then we'll hit the city. So that's what we're going to do there. You are still mustering, so we'll leave you to do that, because reasons. And down here, we do have the sapping is completed, so we could actually go for this. Before, right, we'll con before I do anything else, before I do anything else, I do want to go over here, give you the Heirloom Spear of the Lord of Fire set, which means everyone is going to have plus 20% melee armor piercing damage. So if we go here, we should see the little green, little green block, which suggests that they've got a little bit more armor piercing. Uh, they have... These guys have 56. Jeez, 56. Yeah, they're, they're going to be sort of cutting through most most people's armour, to be honest. So that's pretty exciting. And of course we need to give Pang the, his, um, his family spear, which is not as good. You know, I have kind of downgraded him a bit. But to be fair, you know, I, I don't think he needs needs the help. And he's almost 50 as well, the big 5-0. It's exciting. Is anyone... Anyone planning in party? Putting around a card? I'll sign it. I never know what to sign in cards. I just put best wishes. Me. I don't know. Do I, do I can't. I never know what to write. Okay, we've got crap tons of money. I have so much money. What am I going to do with it? Shang Dang. No, that's the... Right, this one. Gen right, do we have anything to build here? We could upgrade the city. But I don't think we need to I think generally we're okay so I, I'm going to leave that we do we could upgrade to the rural county administration which could give, give us a little bit you know what I'm going to do I'm going to upgrade to the to the regional city so let's do that Chang'an is fine this place we're going to upgrade the city so let's do that Anding is already building something. Hanjong, I could upgrade the city, but I want to be. A, I don't want to upgrade too many cities at the same time, just because it can cut into your food quite quite substantially. Um, what we do want to do is get the court here. So let's do that because we do need to continue to fight that corruption. Uh, you over here are. I'm generally okay. I think I'm not overly bothered about upgrading you. Am I? Nah, I think we're okay. I might I might upgrade them later, but for the moment we're just gonna just gonna stick with what we've got. Um do we have anything which could let's get the Confucian Temple here to, to give us some public order, because we might want to go potentially more peasant income from here. And I guess we could upgrade you because you're level three and really ideally want everything to be level four. What have you got? You literally are just fishing, aren't you? So, food, land development. Let's go land development. Uh, we'll get some more food 
there and you i think we're just gonna go more more industry income something like that and we got contested commandery well we've got a lot of, what, why do we have so many contest oh because right you're there you're there that one is wait what Oh, right, that's, that's, I thought I was over here. No, that's fine. That's fine, because it's under siege. That makes sense. Right, so what we want to do is now we've got some sapping going on here. I think I think one, waiting just for one, I mean, it's two turns. So it's, it's four turns to get all the sapping. To be honest, this doesn't look like it's going to be particularly tricky because there's just the garrison here. So I think we can probably take these guys out fairly easily, but I'm going to, do I just delegate? We're in no rush to replenish, really. But I, I, th I feel like fighting is probably the sensible option, so... Look, the enemy run! Craven! I find my trebuchets... Not particularly the most accurate of things. I've been trying to take out one of these towers for bloody ages, and it's used most of my ammo. And all I've really managed to do is set fire to some houses behind the tower. It's, it's taken so far uh, three percent fire damage. Yeah, I mean you can see how terrible. Ac <sighs> Fuck's sake. Okay, well fine. We'll, we just have to weather the storm, I guess. So our infantry are advancing, and there is Zhao Ji. Just advancing behind. We're taking a little bit of fire, but it's not too bad. The enemy garrison isn't particularly anything to worry about. Some of the archers could be a little nasty, so we're using our crossbows to take them out. What I... I, mm, I, I, I think actually having archers with a fire arrow ability is probably more useful than, than crossbows. Especially to... T I mean, yeah, we've managed to take out a wall... I think we've managed to miss most of the tower, though. It's taken 8% damage, and I've used, m I've used half of my ammo to try and take it out. Oh, well. Zhao Xi's down here just dealing with these spear boys. He's got... Uh, he's, he's not worried. Here comes some support. Some spear lads coming in. Spear guards, in they come. And here comes Ma Kong. Just behind him. Now, obviously, commanders are not the best general type but they're by no means bad it's just that uh, if you've got literally anyone else take them instead but seeing as he's my son you know i kind of have to take him in fact commanders don't make bad faction leaders because the satisfaction that they give uh, especially at the start of the game is pretty useful so if you're starting as you and shao as uh, you and shu or leo bay not actually that bad. In fact, Leo Bay and Yuan Shao are pretty good melee characters anyway, so you can generally have, you know, quite a, quite a lot of fun with them. So we've managed to break through into the city proper, and Ma Kong is leading the charge towards these uh, horses, Sabre Cavalry. Oof. That guy didn't see it coming, did he? Ma Kong not slowing down, just charging through. Chopping people down. I mean, he's already got uh, 26 kills, which is pretty good. Just chopping his way through. And here come some reinforcements. Little charge there. Take a little bit of damage, but not too bad. So we'll be able to uh, deal with that Sabre Cavalry. Meanwhile, some of our cavalry is coming into the city as well. And some Spear Guards just seeing off some enemy Spear Guards. They decided to rally, which is a mistake in my opinion. They probably should have just ran and kept running. The men have no ammunition. Thank you. Thank you, Chen Lin. Thanks for the update. Okay, we're into the city. We're going to bring our... This Jian Sword Guard Cavalry. Going to bring them in to deal with these Spear Guards. We're breaking through... This street, Ma Kong, up to 42 kills. Not bad. He's doing all right, isn't he? He's doing all right. Just chopping people down left, right, and centre with his lovely lax. And we're chasing down the enemy infantry. 
So, having dealt with most of the enemy, I mean, we're in the city proper, we could bring the rest of our infantry in, but I don't see the need, really. Because all we need to do now is break the enemy army, or take the city centre. Probably the city centre being that they've got these bloody towers all over the bloody place. Last thing I want to do is try and take... Wait, this is the commandery of the Han Empire. Is it? Looks like a plaza. Sure. Uh, the other problem I find with, with fighting siege battles in the winter is that it's very difficult to work out exactly what is um, walkable territory and which is part of the, the city. So it can sometimes be a bit difficult to work out where you can actually like put your units. Anyway, so we're going to advance towards these archers. They are opening fire on us, but we are Sabre Cavalry, so we have a nice little shield. So we've got 65% missile resistance we're forming up into a diamond here not entirely sure why i did that but pff, i don't know it seemed like a good idea at the time give you some more melee evasion and mass so you can say have you decreased in mass the answer is no i've increased i've increased mass charge into these archers we're going to do some damage there see they're dropping very very rapidly there we go now we're going to have some issues here because the par thing is i don't know whether it's just me or whether it was because I can't see where you're supposed to put units or what. But for some reason, these this cavalry unit was not playing ball. Just didn't know what to do. I mean, we're telling it to attack the archers here. And it is just fanning about. It's like, come on, lads. Finish off those archers. I mean, Mark Kong's got, got the right idea. He's single-handedly running down all of this cavalry. You got this, Mark Kong. Look at him flashing his axe around. So he's helping out. Thanks very much there. I have neglected that this unit of spear guards is running outside the city. So my spear guards are going to chase them. And that means they're going to get shot at by the towers. But there's not much I can do about that. Because I'm not paying attention. Because what I'm trying to do is get this saber cavalry to actually engage these archers. I've also got to be careful because there's some G infantry caps in there. And that's quite a nasty unit, especially against cavalry. I also don't like the way... Uh, this is turning into a bit of a whinge, but... I don't like the way that these archers can somehow fire on the move. And I've noticed the AI can do that. The AI, if it wants to, can actually use archers on the move. And uh, that seems fine. Whereas if you tell a unit to shoot at someone, it has to wait and form up first before it can even start shooting. See? They're still moving! The shit. I mean, it's like... Okay, there's, there's guys there that are standing still. But if I told a unit to shoot at someone, you know what it would do? It would wait until all these guys were in... Are those guys definitely just... Can they move on fire? No, they cannot. What's the tits? Okay, so one unit of Sabre Cavalry is moving around the other side. We've got a second unit here, which we're going to tell to attack the archers. And who is eventually going to actually go and fucking do it. Jesus Christ, that wasn't hard, was it? Okay, done. So we just have to deal with this G Infantry Captain. These guys are heavily armoured. They are good against mounted, which is unfortunate because the only units we've got in the city centre are mounted. But we'll make do. So our cavalry advancing. We've just been caught by some Sabre Cavalry. And we're getting shot by towers as well. G Infantry is advancing. We're going to charge in. And then we're going to hit them from the rear as well. That unit's going to take a little bit of damage from charging the front of a spear unit. But it won't be as bad. Especially because we're going to sandwich them. Ah, oh, it's a delicious G Infantry Captain sandwich. And there the meat. And there we go. And we're going to end this very, very quickly because we're still getting peppered by shots from the towers. I like the crossbows, but I'm starting to think maybe the archers are better just for the fire arrows. It's just such a good way of dealing with towers. I'll take it. Uh, that's just energetic, isn't it? Good. Okay, who's leveled up? Right. Vengeance is always good. 
running speed is quite nice, but the instincts I can't really get plus 13 melee that. So if we go with that, we then get a plus 16, another 3% uh, melee damage, which is quite nice. You've currently got a war axe. Raymond, nobility. You could actually... Wait, did we have that? We do have the dignified... That's noble's leather. Who's got the dignified... Ma Ji, and you're not actually doing anything, and do, doing anything, are you? So actually, I could give you that. And that would give you plus ten status. Oh, it wouldn't really be worth it. So okay, fine, won't worry about that. Uh, set bonus, not worth the effort. Chang out. Oh yeah, I didn't want to do anything with you. Okay, so we're just waiting down here to just get a little bit more uh, sapping. We should be fine. Zhang Liao has leveled up. I think we're going to go. I mean, the expertise would be quite nice. Not too bothered about that. Do you administer a commandery? I don't think you do, do you? Do you? No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, could go... What I want to do is kind of go for zeal. But intensity would be nice as well. Um, let's go with bravery. Because then we can hop over to perception and we get zeal and intensity at the same time. That works out for me. Now, what I want to do here is actually replace... Nope. Replace this, that one, with that. Boom. Also, let's do that. And I'm sort of tempted to switch these guys out for the heavy spear guards. So they're currently 160, they're 225. I think we can afford that, can't we? I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's switch all these guys out for the heavy spear guards. We've got the, the guys there. I'm going to leave that as archers. Just for the moment. I might switch over to onyx dragons, but not right now. Not right now. Let's repair all this gubbins. What we got? A magistrate, which is fine. Government workshop, that's fine. Uh, we do have a lumberyard, so that's peasantry income. So we've got more peasantry income there. Probably want to upgrade the city to get um, some public order there, because otherwise we're going to get some rebellions. Because Leo Bay was really like, just, he, he was squeezing the peasants, wasn't he? Every penny. It's not very honourable, is it? Come join us in our war on chaos. Against the yellow turbans, I thought I was already at war with them, but sure, all right. Considered offers produce effortless packs. Yep, that that's a thing. Now we're not currently at war with Sao Sao or Sunjian, but at this rate, it won't be long before we are. I'm going to see if maybe I can vassalize Kong Rong. Because I feel like with Kong Rong, you can get a good trade deal. So having Kong Rong just have his own little enclave and then trading with him, probably the uh, the best option. Uh, okay, we can go with that. That's fine. You declared war on that guy. I don't really care. Han Fu apparently has died. Fair enough. Uh, the siege progresses, but our assaulting forces grow weary and supplies run low. A nearby village loyal and abundant resources could possibly aid us. Shall we call them to... Uh, so population, minus 10 for Anping. And we get more supplies. Who's this? All right. Um, I think we're all right, actually. We do not need this aid. This village needs supplies more sorely than we do. Let fury explode. We're Let running low on supplies. Explode. We get plus 12 a turn. Are you shitting me? Got plenty of supplies. Uh, Liu Feng is philanthropic. Who? Okay, he's one of those guys. Fine, just just you know, do do whatever, do whatever. Okay, that army's. I'm I'm quite happy with that army. That's looking pretty good. Can we lay? Can we can we attack? I think we can attack. It says hi. Ah. Uh, 
Do we just siege them down? You know what? I, I, mm. Okay, hang on. Continue the siege. Let's have a look. Because as soon as we've dealt with this, what's our next move? Do we... Si do we right. Yes. Yes, we do. Do you have any ancillaries? Nope. Never do. Um, Confederate Kong wrong. Never! Well, all right. What about, can I... Vassals, vassalize Kong wrong. Never! Are you sure? What about if I give you a nice war axe? Nope, didn't actually give him a nice war axe. What about if I do that? Trade, confirm. Yeah. Unreasonable offer. I didn't think it was that unreasonable, to be honest. I thought it was fine. Apparently, though, Kong wrong. Don't want it. He don't want it. Okay. Okay, no problem. This army's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start heading down towards the river. That will mean traipsing... Well, actually, if we go down... If we go here... Do we have a military... Oh, we've got a military thing with... um With Dubry. Fine. If we go this way... We've still got a little bit of replenishment to do, but we can do that on the way, so that's no big deal. Um, do we... You guys, do you have anything? You've got a little... You've got some... Some stuff. What about you? You've got nothing, do you? I could actually give... Where is Zhuge Liang? He is here, isn't he? Because he's my Prime Minister. So what I could do is give him the Tycoon. So let's do that. Heavenly Flight. What does that do? Plus 25% rate? Holy shit. We just need a Jade Archer, which I don't have. Jeez, I need a Jade Archer. Oops, no, I meant to actually... No, no, no. Get, ha have him. It's going to give us more trade influence. Which is not bad. The only thing we don't own is spice. We don't have rice. Oh, we have rice by trading. The only thing we don't have is spice. And if bloody... Shu, what's his face? Shu Hu had not just given in to Sun Jian, then I would have had that as well. If it wasn't for you darn kids. Okay, so let's deal with this. Then, do we go to war with Cao Cao? Do we do that? Do we take on two of the three kingdoms? Because they kind of like have the, the central plains here. We're kind of like we're kind of scooping up the north. I think right. What we I think I need to do is maybe declare war on you. Get this over with. But I need to wait until. Well, you know what? I'm treacherous already. So is it a big deal if I just get to become a little bit more treacherous? What's what's treachery between friends? Right? Who hasn't stabbed their friends in the back once or? To, it, it's a new China. It's all about the treachery and the higher levels of corruption. So we've got an excellent little breach in the wall over here with very few towers to defend this side of the city, which is useful. And um, Pooh is going to take some pot shots at the enemy generals, but uh, they're going to buff themselves. They're going to make themselves totally melee uh, missile resistant, even melee resistant, missile resistant. Which is a bit of a pain. It's fine. We don't need... We don't need missiles to win this fight, although it will help, obviously. China will revel in your death. Exactly. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Shut up, Gan. You're the worst. So the enemy has quite a few units defending this wall. Uh, but we've only got one little entrance into the city down this little street down here. A lot of the city is also on fire. Um, I'll, I'll just put it out there. That wasn't me, okay? If anyone... Right, Come what... On. Surely you can do better. You were all watching. I did not oh, set fire to... The... I think oh, it's for insurance hey, purposes. Hey. That's my suspicion. So Pooh is engaging the enemy general. In she goes. They decide not to uh, charge each other. They both get off the horse. Very respectful. 
And of course, Pooh has got double war axes. And uh, this poor schmuck. What was he? Gan? Oh, it's Gan. Bloody Gan. This poor schmuck has just got one little axe. He's just got one little sword. Look at that. So Pooh's all tricked out. She's got a bow. She's got nice armor. She's got a couple of war axes. This, this is only really going to go one way. Pooh there showing who's boss. Here comes Wifey to uh, to buff. It is not. Little buffage there. We're going for it. We've almost got him. Look how many buffs we've got. Who's there? Got his oath sworn, close relative, and tenacity of steel. Come on, Pooh, stop playing with him. Just end him. Stop kicking him. And finish him off. Oh, oh, and he's down. Easy. And with the enemy general's death, the rest of the army is going to start advancing. We'll bring our archers up and they are going to start taking out the enemy archers. So basically what we're going to be doing is uh, pushing the army up and then once we've done that our archers will be targeting their archers to make sure that their archers can't target our infantry. So basically we're just going to be sniping anything that can do damage to us and then it's just just a just a bludgeon our way through with our infantry and once we've got an opening then we bring in our cavalry to uh, hopefully get some nice rear charges going on so Pooh's taking a little bit of damage, but not too bad. She's going to walk that off. And Wifey there with uh, her military G. So we go, archers opening fire, taking out those enemy archers. The nice thing is our Onyx dragons are longer range and also faster firing. So taking out the enemy... Militia archers should be fairly easy. Let's see how quickly they drop. 125, 118, 108, 100. Yeah, they're, they're dropping fast. Wow. Well, they're all dead. No point being in formation, so we're going to break our formation and advance. And engage the enemy. Send in our Jian sword guards first. Because they're better. It's just sort of bog standard melee. Slightly higher defense than the axe infantry. In they go. And we're going to get a little bit of lag. And I can't tell whether that's just because of how many units sort of like bogged up in one place. Or whether it's something to do with that and also the fact that things are still on fire. Because that's, that seems to be the only time I ever get any issues is when stuff's on fire. So we're going to bring Pooh and Wifey in to join in the fun. And we're going to bring some Axe Infantry to hit the gates. Take down uh, that. Although... Very, very quickly, the enemy actually open the gate and come charging through. Which is fine, I guess. Archers continuing to pick off those enemy archers. Just reducing units of enemy archers to paste. Which is what I like to see. Here comes enemy general. And it's uh, Shang Ku... Shang Ku? Shang Ku? We're going to get uh, Wifey to deal with that. Now, what I probably should have done is is brought Machao in. Because while we don't have Machao here, and I don't particularly want to bring my cavalry in to get shot at, but I feel like bringing Machao in would have probably been sensible. So we're going to get a little duel. Uh, the, the infantry parts like the Red Sea. He's got dual... He's got dual military G. That's cheating. They're also stuck in a uh, stuck in rubble. Oh, 
So we're slowly grinding them down. That's what we're going to have to do. Some of the enemy archers are actually heading towards the city centre. And they're still in range. But fortunately, our archers are slightly longer range. So uh, this... Yeah, look at, look at the numbers just drop. Easy. And realistically, once we've broken past this front line, it's, it's pretty much game over. But it's uh, quite quite a brutal and bloody affair. Mummy is uh, making very, very short work of the enemy general. No con... I mean, look at him. No contest. Just getting absolutely wrecked. Our cavalry has advanced a little bit just so that our hunters can open fire. The enemy general falls. Oh look, Mummy was victorious. That is no great loss. It really isn't. I'm, I'm, I don't miss him. Does anyone? I don't think so. Probably even his family are slightly relieved he's dead. Come on, let's get Machow in here. Oh god, what happened there? Machow, where are you? Come on, come on buddy. Come on, you can't just stand around all day. Enjoying the sights and the smells and the sounds. You need to get stuck in. There's people out there dying. And not by you. He'll, he'll get a move on. So having dealt with most of the enemy archers. And we see we're slowly grinding down this infantry. They're feeding more and more units in. But uh, we are definitely getting the... Uh, the upper hand here. Let's see, Mummy has killed 32, and Wifey's killed 33, 34, sorry, that's that's pretty close. But the enemy units are definitely thinning out quite a bit. There's definitely less of them. And we've still got units held in reserve, fresh and waiting to go. We still have some enemy archers, uh, but not very many of them. That's down to about half strength, and here comes. Our archers answering the call, and uh, yep, their numbers stop dropping very, very quickly. Ah, Machal's getting stuck in, finally. In he comes. Come on, Machal. Get in here and do some stuff. Now, the nice thing about Machal is that he's got this... Uh, bloody hell. Right, he's killing nine, nine people with each hit. He's just racking up the kills there. And the nice thing about my chow is he's got a debuff which uh, lowers morale. And these guys have lost their general, which means the roar of the beast is going to effectively break the entire enemy army. And then it's just a case of just hunting the buggers down. Some of them do try to rally, but uh, it's rather disorganized. And it means we've now got into the city. And more importantly, Machow is now in the middle of them, which is going to... Jesus Christ, it's going to shit them up something chronic. Uh, he's up to 87 kills now. Make that 92. 98, 103. Well, you get the idea anyway. Basically, wherever my chow is, people shuffle off their mortal coil rather rapidly. With Mumsy, Wifey and Machow hunting down the enemy infantry, the entire army breaks and runs with ours in hot pursuit. Another nice victory there, and that's Order whoever that guy restored. faction is now called. I can't, was it Hanfu? Ah, uh, who cares? This belongs to us now. Not important. Not I'm important. So, let's repair all this garbage. Now, I'm wondering if maybe... Why can't I... Oh, he's a vassal. He's a vassal of... Oh, right, right, right. Mm, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll just have to kill him. I was wondering maybe we could peace out with him so I can deal with that faction to the north. But if we're going to have to kill him, not not overly concerned. Pooh was ranked up yet again. Holy shit. 
Uh, we definitely want to get zeal. So let's head for perception. So let's do that. And then we can get intensity and zeal. So that'd be nice. And uh, it's going to make... I mean, okay. The authority, not, not that useful. But could be worse. Could be worse. Who's a bit of a bit of a brutal, brutal little sausage? Absolute mad woman, almost literally. Not not quite to Jing Zhang's uh, level, but certainly you know up there. Certainly up there. Okay, we've got this army. This is replenishing. We've got some stuff here. Right, so we've got this. Right. So does that actually take effect? Because this is. Unless I'm very much mistaken. This is um, Leo Bay's special building. So he has the, the Han Empire sort of tax collection one. So I think he gets more money for less public order reduction. So he's currently getting 12 public... So it's 140 compared to 210. So yes, yeah, so he gets a lot more peasantry income. Um, I'm kind of tempted just to leave that, to be honest. Are we still getting money from it? 335. So that's bringing in... Yeah, so we are. Ah, oh, I think I might just leave that there, to be honest. I think that might just be good to have. Now, I do need more food. That's a thing. Because I'm upgrading cities, and I just don't see... I don't really... Yeah, mm, what do I do? What do I do? I need to get the reform, but I also need the reform to get the upgrade to then reduce my corruption. So basically... We're, we're going to go for the regular palace attendance. Because that is going to be the best option at the moment. So we'll take that. Because then, at handing, we can upgrade this one. Because we want to go here. Because this one reduces corruption by 20% in adjacent commandery. So that's really useful to have. So let's do that. And uh, then we'll start reducing our corruption. That should increase our income. We might be able to get another army up. So that'd be quite nice to have. I mean, these armies aren't actually that expensive, are they? I mean, this Martung's arm... Well, sorry, Martung's army is only two... It's only 3k. It's not actually that much. We could definitely get another army up. Will renew our so we could definitely do that. Right, so... Oh, I forgot to... Oh, my army leveled up as well. That's nice. That's nice. We should maybe go for bravery. Charge negate. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Because if her army has charge negation, that means if they're formed up, then cavalry can't charge into their front effectively. It means they're immune to, to cavalry charges. And considering we don't really have much in the way of uh, spearmen. We've got this one one G militia here. And actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe I just switch out. So the axes have slightly more armor piercing, slightly more weapon attack speed, slightly more charge bonus, pretty much less everything else. So basically they're like flankers, aren't they? Maybe I get rid of this one lone G militia. Nope, not you. We'll switch out you. Let's do that. And I'm let's switch out these guys for the Onyx Dragons. I'll keep the axe band for the moment. I think. I think that's what we'll do. The next reform, I think we need to go for food. I need more food. Because if I can start upgrading some of these, so what I need is this one, this one. So I need this, our, the agricultural tax relief. So if I could get that, that's going to that's going to boost my food quite a bit. I also want to get not the spear warriors. I want to get these. I want to get the G infantry. So that's the G militia just upgraded, which I can get now. And then of course you can get the heavy G infantry. And these guys. I mean, they're very tank. They've got, they got good sort of all-rounder. They're good against mounted. They're good armor, goods, just generally against everything. So that's quite nice to have. 
Um, we could also get more food from farming down here as well. Food production, food from fishing. Yeah, I need to get some of these. I need to get some of these. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Martung campaign.